Christmas in July is a Christmas celebration held in the month of July, the nature of which differs by hemisphere. Origins Werther, an 1892 French opera with libretto by Édouard Blau, Paul Milliet, and Georges Hartmann, had an English translation published in 1894 by Elizabeth Beale Ginty. In the story, a group of children rehearses a Christmas song in July, to which a character responds, "'When you sing Christmas in July, you rush the season.' It is a translation of the French, "'Vous chantez Noël en gilet' Say si prendra l'avance. This opera is based on Goethe's The Sorrows of Young Werther. Christmas features in the book, but July does not. In 1935, the National Recreation Association's journal Recreation described what a Christmas in July was like at a girl's camp, writing that all mystery and wonder surround this annual event. The term, if not the exact concept, was given national attention with the release of the Hollywood movie comedy Christmas in July in 1940, written and directed by Preston Sturgis. In the story, a man is fooled into believing he has won $25,000 in an advertising slogan contest. He buys presents for family, friends, and neighbors, and proposes marriage to his girlfriend. In 1942, the Calvary Baptist Church in Washington, D.C. celebrated Christmas in July with carols and the sermon Christmas Presents in July. They repeated it in 1943, with a Christmas tree covered with donations. The pastor explained that the special service was patterned after a program held each summer at his former church in Philadelphia, when the congregation would present Christmas gifts early to give ample time for their distribution to missions worldwide. It became an annual event, and in 1945, the service began to be broadcast over local radio. The U.S. Post Office and U.S. Army and Navy officials, in conjunction with the American advertising and greeting card industries, threw a Christmas in July luncheon in New York in 1944 to promote an early Christmas mailing campaign for service men overseas during World War II. The luncheon was repeated in 1945. American advertisers began using Christmas in July themes in print for summertime sales as early as 1950. In the United States, it is more often used as a marketing tool than an actual holiday. Television stations may choose to re run Christmas specials, and many stores have Christmas in July sales. Some individuals choose to celebrate Christmas in July themselves, typically as an intentionally transparent excuse to have a party. This is in part because most bargainers tend to sell Christmas goods around July to make room for next year's inventory. Celebrations Southern Hemisphere in the Southern Hemisphere, seasons are in reverse to the Northern Hemisphere, with summer falling in December, January, and February, and with winter falling in June, July, and August. Therefore, in some Southern Hemisphere countries, such as Comoros, Madagascar, Bolivia, Angola, French Polynesia, Papua New Guinea, Paraguay, Samoa, South Africa, Australia and New Zealand, Christmas in July or midwinter Christmas events are undertaken in order to have Christmas with a winter feel in common with the Northern Hemisphere. These countries still celebrate Christmas on December 25, in their summer, like the Northern Hemisphere. Northern Hemisphere In the Northern Hemisphere, a Christmas in July celebration is deliberately ironic. The July climate is typically hot and either sunny or rainy, as opposed to the cold and snowy conditions traditionally associated with Christmas celebrations in the higher latitudes of the Northern Hemisphere. Some people throw parties during July that mimic Christmas celebrations, bringing the atmosphere of Christmas but with warmer temperatures. Parties may include Santa Claus, ice cream and other cold foods, and gifts. Nightclubs often host parties open to the public. Christmas in July is usually recognized as July 12 but also sometimes celebrated on July 25. 
The Hallmark Channel and its companion outlets, Hallmark Drama and Hallmark Movies and Mysteries, run blocks of their original Christmas television films in July to coincide with the release of the keepsake ornaments in stores, thus literally making the event a Hallmark holiday, an accusation that Hallmark Cards officially denies. Every July, the television home shopping channel QVC has Christmas in July sales, mostly decor and early gift ideas for children. What was once a 24-hour block of holiday shopping every July 25th, or the closest weekend day to it, has become a month-long event. Generally, the sales begin on July 1st and are showcased throughout the day, with various blocks of holiday sale programming sales throughout the month. Generally during the last week of July, QVC will dedicate entire days to holiday sales. There is also Christmas in June. In some Western countries, July has a limited number of marketing opportunities. In the United States and Canada, for example, there are no national holidays between the first week of July Canada Day on July 1 in Canada and American Independence Day on July 4 in the United States and Labor, Labor Day, the first Monday in September for both the U.S. and Canada, leaving a stretch of about two months with no holidays. Some Canadian provinces hold a civic holiday, but neither Canada nor the United States has ever recognized a national holiday during that month. The late July period provides relatively few opportunities for merchandising, since it is typically after the peak of summer product sales in June and early July, but before the back-to-school shopping period begins in August. Therefore, to justify sales promotions, shops such as Leon's in Canada will sometimes announce a Christmas in July sale. In parts of Denmark, people may have small Christmas celebrations and put up decorations for what is known as July I Julie, translated as Christmas in July. It is a simple play on words that has come to be celebrated by some, although it is not an official holiday. Christmas in August, Yellowstone, USA, in the 1950s, the Christmas in July celebration became a Christmas in August celebration at Yellowstone National Park, to accommodate ACMNP's annual performance of Handel's Messiah. References External links <laughs>